If the people that you meet had shoes upon their feet and something to eat, and wouldn't it be fine now if all humankind had shelter? Basic human needs, basic human deeds, doing what comes naturally down in the garden where no one is apart. Deep down in the garden, the garden of your heart. Hey. Fantastic gravy. Nice to meet you here in Berkeley. That was a fabulous song. Berkeley? Uh, well, there's something about uh, uh, Berkeley that appeals to a creative anarchist like me, you know? For, it's like an island now in California, which has been, uh, just been taken over by uh, sort of right-wing kind of folks. Has there been a change in Berkeley, in your opinion? And has it changed for the better or for the worse? Well, I think that, you know, everything's got to change. If it doesn't change, it's dead. You know, change is, is what life is based upon. And death is Patrick Henry's second choice. But we were, uh, well, there's not, nobody's riding in the streets or anything, you know, today. But uh, folks do uh, take that journey to uh, the Diablo reactor or the Livermore uh, 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 nuclear reactor, and uh, they, they do go to jail for that. I know I've been to jail four times in the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. What is it that's so unique about Berkeley that makes it what it is? So I think there must be something about the, the geography, the adjacency to the university, the adjacency to... Uh, San Francisco, a pretty decent climate, you know, it ain't the Sun Belt by any means, but it's pretty decent climate that, uh, that, that folks gravitated here. And uh, we have People's Park in Berkeley, which is like a, a monument in the hearts of all the, the people that were young people in the 60s that are now psychedelic relics like me, that are still thinking about what that was, how folks uh, joined together and just stood up for our rights. Mm -hmm.